Hi everybody, this is Eric Wasatonic, aka Electronic Tonic 156, um, as my original YouTube handle, and I'm going to start a series of videos that is basically going to be a very extended lab tour. Why a series of videos? Because as you can see, I've got a huge lab, and it's not just this room, there's lots of other rooms to look at. I work at Penn State Harrisburg, Penn State University in, in uh, Middletown, Pennsylvania. I'm the electrical lab supervisor for the electrical engineering department. And so I handle all these parts and equipment and stuff for, um, for the students and for the faculty. I make experimental apparatus. I repair equipment. I was just working on a HP 3311A function generator today. But you can see I got tons of stuff. Got my old Tesla coil still there. It's not hooked up right now. Lots of cabinets and racks filled with things here. Literally tons of stuff. And again, not just this room, but lots of other rooms too. All the other lab classrooms that the students use and the faculty, etc. This is the machine shop back here. We got, you know, basic hardware and stuff. Anyway, I would have preferred to do this sometime later when I hit like a thousand subscribers perhaps. But hey, that's just arbitrary. Right now, I'm at 769 subscribers, which happens to be, if I was counting in binary, 1.1 billion and one subscribers. So I can make it sound like I've got one seventh of the world population subscribed to my channel, but in decimal, it's only 769. And, um, but the reason I'm doing it now, most importantly, it's because we're moving to a new building. This room and everything in it and all the other electrical engineering labs are moving to a new building being constructed on campus. It kind of looks like this on the second floor. That's um, I'm laying out all the, uh, the furniture plans and everything, trying to figure out exactly what should go where. So it's going to be a major project to move all this stuff and again all the other stuff in the other rooms and before I before we do that that's going to happen in the summer before we do that I want to thoroughly document all this cool stuff that I got laying around here there's even a storage room back here there the lights came on Got a vacuum pump that I've never used before. It still needs some, needs to be refurbished. And just tons of stuff. All these power supplies and EE books here. Even got some CRTs laying around. Some HP scopes, Tektronix digital scopes, a whole cart full of big old transformers. Tons of stuff to go through and organize, always organizing. There's never any end to what needs to be organized. And Anyway, as I record all the videos, I'll be looking into individual cabinets and talking about different things that I've already made videos about. And so I'll just put annotations, links, you know, somewhere on the, on the video screen while I'm talking about those things. And... A lot of things that I have not made videos of, I really want to. I have been wanting to make videos of certain things for a very long time. Like, for example, my 500 joule hard drive platter launcher and can crusher. Got this big old capacitor bank, charge it up to 10 kV, and let her rip with my homemade relay switch here. and discharge uh, all that energy into the old five and a quarter inch hard drive platter. It goes shooting straight up to the ceiling. 
So that's one thing I haven't made a video of about that individually, but I'll be sure to do it eventually. And a lot of these other things, some of them before the move, some of them after the move. And I also printed off these pictures, most of them from 2005 or 2006, of what the lab used to look like. So I can look at the picture and look at the screen on my camera while taking the same picture from the same position and the same direction so I can have a nice series of before and after pictures that I'll probably be including in these videos. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is just an introduction to show you what to expect. I don't know how many total videos it's going to be, but I hope I don't ramble on too much in each one. So we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. And thanks for watching. See you later.